This is the Clip and Wave Tape from Rolly Company. It's a translucent tape that's sewn to the top of a drapery heading to create a wavy serpentine style that can traverse open and closed. And it's specifically created to use with a clip-on ring, and I'll show you more about that in a moment. A couple features about this tape. It has shearing strips on the back with the shearing cords running within. It also has small pockets. It's a little hard for you to see, but there's two pockets. And this is for the clip from the clip-on ring. And you have two levels so that you can make sure that you put your clip on and then the top of the ring ends up at the top of the tape. That way, from uh, looking from below, you don't even see the clips. So no one will ever know that you used a clip-on ring. So if you have a smaller clip, you can use the other pocket. This tape also has repeat indicating marks. Now, they're in the spaces, the little flat areas where the shearing tape is attached. And you'll find them at the top and bottom. And they're woven in a little bit tighter woven. But you'll find these, and you need to find these so that you can lay the tape out on your drapery panel. So once you've found your repeat indicating dots, go ahead and create your drapery panel, lay it flat on your work surface, and make a double fold four inch heading in the top. You don't need to pin it down or sew it down because you're going to sew the tape onto the heading. Place your tape evenly spaced with repeat indicating dots starting and stopping on your drapery panel. So I have to look for that again. And there's one here. And then go down the tape and find the next repeat indicating dot. And I'm going to center them. And on this drapery, this single panel, they end up about a half inch from each end. I'll go ahead and stab that down, pull this over so that it'll stay in place. You also want to make sure that the tape is facing up that the little pockets for inserting your clip-on rings is at the top of the tape and the shearing cords are down towards the bottom of the tape and facing out. You can pin this tape on and then sew it using a matching thread all the way across the top and bottom edges of the tape. Make sure you don't catch this shearing strip when you're sewing. And at the end, you do want to pull out the cord. I'm going to trim away, leaving enough excess so that I can pull out a cord that's a good size cord. And the cord is within these shearing strips. Now it's going to be a little tricky, but you can see it. You'll know, fish it out with a pin like that. Pull out both cords and then trim away to about an inch and tuck this under and tie off your cords. So I have one here that's finished. I'm going to show you that. Before I do, I'll go ahead and pull up this tape to show you what the tape looks like when you pull up the gathering cords. So you can get an idea of how it works. I've pulled these cords out. So when you pull this up, you're creating this wavy look. It's sort of like a ripple fold panel. So you're creating the look of a very modern ripple fold panel, but you're not having to use ripple fold track and the ripple fold tape. So you get this really pretty serpentine look, and this will be the front. And the shearing cords allow you to arrange the ripple appearance in the fullness that you want. So you can have it a little looser, like that, or you can pull it up really tight, depending on how much fullness you want. So I can pull it up even tighter and make the waves closer together, like that. To add your clip-on rings, you'll decide whether you want to use the pocket that's closest to the top or the next one down. And you'll clip into the pockets. And you're actually clipping the rings on the sides of the wavy areas. You're not going to the front and back and front and back. You're going on the sides so that your hardware can go through evenly. And then put your hardware in to the rings. And then you can open and close 
your drapery. And every time you open and close, it'll keep that wavy appearance. So you'll never have a flat area of panel. Even though this is a flat drapery panel, there's no pleats sewn in. You'll always have that pretty rippled wavy appearance. This is a really popular style and this is the clip and wave tape.